Hey, what's up everybody, Donnie here. And today I have a new plan. The plan was to put this radio link in the XMAX 8S, but it will not fit um, the way that Max 6 I have. The wires are too big. <clears throat> so these ones are a lot smaller. These guys are gonna go and fit in this little receiver here from Radio Link. So we're gonna get rid of the TQI for now and put the controller up for now. And we're gonna go with this guy. I put six batteries in here already down below. I did uh, Duracell. So there's six of these bad boys in here, you guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this receiver in and we're gonna check it out. It should be pretty simple. I'm just gonna plug those two wires in. So channel one and two right here, that's for steering and uh, throttle. So should show you in the manual. So if you need any directions, it'll tell you what everything's listed here. Yeah, channel one steering, channel two throttle. That's what it usually is on most receivers. So, but it's always good to double check so that way you don't get your wires crossed. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, the longest one should be uh, the steering servo and then this one should be the throttle. So, uh, so we'll go ahead and do channel one and then channel two on this. So I'll plug that in. I'm only doing it one-handed. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in and show you. And also it came with this little cable here. This is for telemetry, guys. So you can connect that up and you'll be able to have telemetry. So that's for you guys with the crawlers and whatever else you want to use it for. But it does come with that wire here. And it comes with the little lanyards. All right. Now I showed you the accessories it came with. Now let me go ahead and turn on this transmitter. So let's turn that on. All right, that fired up. Now let me go ahead and turn on the ESC. All right, that lit up green. That's showing connected. Now let's see. Oh yeah. Ah, we got it. we got it, guys. We got it. So let me go ahead and move this for a second. What I had to do is I had to go in here on the throttle and put it in reverse on here. So um, now I got that. So when I pull the trigger on here, it's going to go forward. All right, now I'll go forward and backwards correctly. So I'm going to exit out of there. So it's in the re reverse uh, function. So um, how I got to that, I held these two buttons right here, the enter and exit button. Hold those down. Oh. Back out of there. Okay, you hold that down and it puts you in this selection here. So I went all the way down to number 12 is is where I reversed it. So when I press enter, I went to their steering's normal. So my steering is going right, left, so that's normal. But throttle, I had to put it on reverse position. So I had to go in here and put it from normal. Normal was making me go backwards. Okay, so we're gonna put that on reverse, press enter. Now exit out of there, and I should be all set up because there's nothing, um, it's not a crawler, so I don't have no lights making left and right turns, and I don't got a little winch working, so, but this will do everything. I mean, I've seen guys use blinkers for this one here. You know, you got your throttle trim right here as well, so you can actually adjust the steering, I mean. So steering, I go to right, left, just by moving this little toggle up and down. And then um, let me get that back down here to zero here. All right, and then for throttle, it's the same, but this little button right here. So I'm not gonna do it because right now, um, the car is on and I got the wheels on so it'll go forward but here's the trim up and down so that'll change the trim up here so that way you can adjust it but yeah it's pretty cool guys you got all these other switches these are three uh, positions here one two three so I got them all clicked down but one two three so that way you can use it for all kinds of different stuff all right guys hey if you ever run into any trouble the manual right here it has everything you need to know i mean this is set up for seven channels here and i'm only going to use the the two channels channel one and two that's it you know for steering and throttle so uh, nothing big with this until i could get it on the uh, on a crawler but right now i'm using the e-revo mini from traxxas and there's really nothing uh, too much with it. So just wanted to show you guys how to set up the reverse on here since for this little Traxxas, uh, normal will make it go backwards when you press the trigger forward. So I was showing you guys that, so. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the gyro. I forgot to do that when I hooked everything up, closed everything. So I opened it back up. 
I'm gonna turn the, the car back on. Okay, so now we're linked. So what I need to do, there's a little button inside here. So I gotta press it three times quickly and it'll put the gyro on. And what it'll do is it'll put on uh, the auxiliary number three right here. So this VR mode, this is gonna be your gyro. So I got it turned all the way to the left, so it's off. So as soon as I turn that gyro on, on the receiver, then you can adjust it from here. So that's a default. You could put it on anything, whatever you guys wanna put it on, it's up to you. But I leave it right there, that way I can turn it up or down. I really don't use the gyro, but this little car, I'll try it out on the track, but I'm just gonna do a range test with this first. I'm not gonna actually take it out of the track, but I'm gonna turn it on now so I don't have to do it later. So, okay, we're gonna do three quick ones. I'm just using a little Allen wrench. All right, one, two, three. It's flashing. So that should put this on now. There it goes, it went to red. So now if I turn this up a little bit, these wheels should see, oh, going a little too crazy, but see the gyro's working. It's trying to keep it straight, if that makes sense, but it's a little too much. So I'm gonna adjust this back down a little bit. Almost, I'm gonna go all the way off, and just barely churn it, maybe not even a quarter churn to the first little notch. All right, that's a little better, but it's, you know, it's a little crazy because I'm shaking the heck out of this. So it's trying to keep the wheels straight. So the gyro is working. I'll just have to adjust it and try it on the track. If I don't like it, then I could just turn this little switch back all the way down. See, no gyro. So you don't have to shut it back off. If you want, all you gotta do is just press this three times again. Let me move this out of the way so you can see. All you gotta do is do this three times again that little button, one, two, three, it flashes, and now there's no gyro on. It's just lit up green, it's good to go. No gyro. That switch will not work now because I shut the gyro off. So it's really simple. One, two, three, gyro's back on. So, all right, gonna leave it on, button this back up. Take it for a range test first, guys, and then I'll do another video taking it out the track and and see how it does. So, all right, stay tuned for that. Let's see the range test. All right, we're out at the field. I'm at the middle school. We're gonna go ahead and take this thing for just a short range test. I, I was gonna go down the other end, but uh, the grass is just way too thick for this guy. I wouldn't be able to see it very good. So, all right, let's just take this for a run. I'll probably just go down here and I'll have my son. He's filming right now. <coughs> have him uh, go as far as he can over there and I'll meet him over there with the car. All right, I'm just heading to the end of this track now. Um, got the football field over here. My son's back there. <coughs> Almost to the end. These guys are getting ready to fly their planes over here. Getting ready to fly their planes, and I'm going to just do a distance run real quick. All right, guys, there we go. Damn, that thing's squirrely. Oh, it's just the E-Revo. I'm gonna do a distance run right now. Um, I just put this new uh, transmitter in here. If I don't, I keep getting squirrely. Dang, this track's squirrely as heck. Oh yeah, big time. All right, I gotta adjust this steering trim to the right a little. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Let me turn on my gyro a little bit. See if that straightens it a little bit. Yeah, it looks like I'm making it down here. I just can't see very well. All right, I think I made it. I think I made it, and there goes an airplane up. Check that out. They're taking off right now. How cool is that, guys? <laughs> Have fun, guys.
I just wanted to do a distance test for my YouTube channel. Hey, Radio Link, if you guys have RC cars too, Radio Link works killer, man. Oh yeah, it's 600 meters. I couldn't even control my car. It would keep going. The X Max, I started from over there and came all the way up here, and I could have still kept going. So definitely, and they got them for the airplanes too. Take care, guys. All right, I couldn't see this anymore, so. I couldn't see it anymore, and I was getting squirrely over there, and that thing is hard to control, so right now I'm heading back. My son's got the car, plenty of control, and we're watching the airplanes. Pretty awesome, guys, pretty awesome. And we're checking out some of these airplanes going right now. Pretty cool right now. All right, now back to the E-Revo. My son's checking it out for the first time. He's never ran this E-Revo before, so. Yeah, this controller is nice, man. Look at that, it's hanging in there now that gyro's on. Look at it, it's staying straight. It's still getting squirrely, but it's not going all crazy like it was. I was all over the place. So the gyro is working, guys. Just on that channel three, just on the side of the controller. All right, so we just wanted to do a quick test and see how that goes, and and it's working great. We can sit here and run all day long. We're on 3S right now. But yeah, this thing runs pretty good. The battery's kind of low right now. That's why it's not going as fast as you it should be. This guy's taking off. How cool is that? <laughs> I'm watching the plane. I'm supposed to be watching the car, but I'm watching the plane because I love planes. How cool is that? Cool. Oh. 